the hitters inside, both on the political and entertainment front, including perhaps the second most influential Chicagoan who is also recognized as a global icon. New jobs, I think it means uh, new facilities, I think it means excitement, I think it means a kind of stimulation and energy for the city that we've never even experienced. The Queen of Chicago herself on the impact of a Chicago Olympics before heading you know, into the Art Institute. Tonight's gala reception was in honor of the IOC's Evaluation Commission and to further drive home Chicago's hopes in 2016, with a host of Chicagoans in attendance to lend a hand. Well, they could count on our full support. I told them about how committed the president is to bringing the Olympics to Chicago and how we're going to do everything we can to make it come true. This will just be a, a phenomenal event for the city, for the country, and it'll be great for the Olympians. So I'm really proud to be here, and we think things can go very, very well tonight. There were supporters on hand to greet the evaluation commission as they made their way in, and protesters against the game on the rear side near the celebrities' entrance. Loud as they were, they weren't loud enough. I also think it's one of the greatest cities in the world. I mean, I think, you know, I have said that for a long time because not only of what it has meant to me personally, but just what it means to everybody who lives here. I'm hoping is that we can all have a real honest conversation about what a great city this is and the possibilities it will bring not only for the citizens of Chicago but for the citizens of the world. We're going to protest her today in front of her studio. We feel that Michael Jordan, Oprah Winfrey, and Pat Ryan to invest their personal savings to the Olympics if they think it's going to be so profitable and if they think it's such a great thing to bring to Chicago. And during that meeting, uh, the opponents did read a letter to Olympic officials, and among the things listed in that letter is this. They accused political and business leaders here in Chicago of acting in, quote, a spirit of irrational exuberance regarding our capacity to host the 2016 Games. Live from the downtown area, Ann Kavanaugh, Fox Chicago News.